All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble a Sony VAIO model SVP132A1CW. So first what you wanna do is remove the rubber pieces. So there's one long rubber piece here, and then there's two rubber pieces up here. You just pry them out. Uh, you can use your finger or a pry tool or whatever. Um, this sticker is just there to trick you into thinking that this panel's removable, but it's not. So the whole piece comes out. So what you want to do after you remove the rubber pieces, there's also one in the middle here, is remove the two screws here, the two screws here, there's another screw here, and then there's another one, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws on the bottom. All right, <clears throat> once you remove all those screws, be careful because these screws back here, they're actually holding the hinge, so you don't want to like open up the thing while it's like that unless you know what you're doing. So after you do that, there's a little button here um, that's to reset like the CMOS or the BIOS. Um, so we'll be using that later. You'll see when I open it. So once you do that, you'll see like this side has the um, um, headphone jack and then this side just has like nothing there except for the charge port. So you'll want to start prying it up from the, the part with the charge port. So I already kind of undid the clip so it's easier to do this to show. But basically you would go pry up all the way around and you'd pry all the way around here. All right, from all these sides. And then this side you don't want to pry up because the headphone jack is actually uh, protruding out into the case. So you actually have to lift the case at an angle from, from this side. So after you do that, um, this side actually had clipped back, but you basically lift that and kind of wiggle it and it'll come out just like that, okay? After you do that, you can see inside. So of course there's the battery you wanna remove first. So there'll be three screws holding the battery. There'll be one here, another one in the middle here, and then one to the side here. After you do that, you wanna actually lift it from the back. Um, I use this corner from the top to help, but basically you lift that up and then you go to the back here and then and then raise it and you can lift from both sides on the back and you just wiggle and pull and then you can actually undo the connector that's up here, okay? So that's how you disconnect the battery. So here you can see, I'm not sure what this little chip is, um, but yeah, there's the trackpad. Maybe it's, I guess it's part of the trackpad because there's a cable going out to it. Um, <clears throat> and then, so you see the trackpad connector here. This port is for the, if you have a dock, Sorry, I can't see what I'm recording. Um, then you got the SSD. This looks like an M.2 NVMe. Uh, let's see here. It doesn't say exactly. I guess you can look it up to confirm. But yeah, it looks like a, a NVMe because it doesn't have two notches, but sometimes they're SATA ones like that. Um, then you got a connector here for the SD card slot. You got the headphone jack, which is on a separate connector by itself. You got a connector here for looks like a speaker. Um, then you got the wireless antennas and the wireless card um, to raise these off. Um, just like all the other models, you start towards the back of the tail of the antenna. Sorry, and then you just pry it up. I'm not gonna do it because I don't need to take it out. But um, then you got, uh, I believe this is the LCD cable. Um, then you got the DC jack connector. The CPU is soldered in and the RAM is soldered in, so you can't upgrade the RAM or the CPU. Okay, then there's another speaker here that connects right there. All right, and then you got the fan connector here and the CMOS battery connector up above it. Um, then you got the keyboard backlight connector here uh, and the keyboard connector is here underneath the, going underneath the SSD. <clears throat> and that's just about it. Um, and I forgot to tell you, once you remove the battery, if you're going to remove anything else, um, you can hold the power button, but then you have to be careful because these, like I said, the hinge screws, you might break it. So what you can do is you can hold this BIOS CMOS reset button, and that'll also kind of drain out the power. Just hold it for like 30 seconds. Um, and then after that, uh, if your fan is going weird, this one had a weird fan noise problem. It was like vibrating. So what I did was um, you can remove the tiny screws here. So there's three screws holding the, the fan itself. And then there's this screw here that's holding like the plate to keep the fan down. Um, once you do that, 
Let me see if I can show this on camera. I'll try and zoom in so I don't have to hold the camera. Okay, once you do that, um, just get this, the wire here out of the way. I believe this is a thermal sensor. So there's two wires here, a black one and a gray one. So you kind of want to just lift it out of, there's a little notch that's holding it here in place. So you kind of just lift it and get it out of the way. Be careful because the wire is attached here and you don't want to rip it out. Okay, so just to get it out of the way, you'll have to also remove this tape here. So just get this tape out and pull it off. Okay. And then to remove the fan connector, um, you just grip the wires. Oh, sorry. Grip the wires and don't pull really hard. Just kind of wiggle it like slowly like this and keep wiggling it. And eventually the connector will pop out like that. Okay. So once you do that, make sure these two wires again are out of the way. Let me see what's in the view. Okay, and then you can lift from this little edge here. And while you're lifting that, you can actually slide the fan out like that. Okay, um, it's going to be attached to a little piece of adhesive here. So you actually have to swing it out. So just make sure because it's going to hit like the battery and stuff here. Just be careful and do it slowly and kind of um, just slowly. Oh, also. Remember to watch for these wires. Don't pull too quickly. Okay. So then just keep pulling this out just like that. Okay. And as you can see, it swings out just like this. Okay. And there's adhesive stuck to here, like I was saying earlier. So the fan will be like this. So if your fan is making some weird noises, um, one thing you can try first, sometimes the fan will be stuck uh, depending on what's going on. But what I, um, as long as the internal like bearings and stuff aren't broken, what you can do is you can grab the, the propeller or the fins or whatever, the fan blades like this, and kind of just wiggle it and pull it up and the whole thing will come out just like this. Okay. After that, you can just brush it off with the toothbrush. I just brush all the dust off with the toothbrush. And then, um, what I do is I'll take some motor oil um, dip a needle in the motor oil so that a small droplet forms on it and I'll just put it into that the little bearing right here so you just put it into the little hole and then um, put the fan propellers back on spin it around okay and then take it back out again put another drop make sure the drops not like spilling out over the edges because if it's spilling out um, then it'll start getting into these areas and start gunking things up. So if it does, just get a paper towel and kind of like soak up whatever um, excess is coming out. But that's pretty much it. Um, so hopefully this video helped you. Um, if it did, please like and subscribe because that'll really help me. And yeah, to put it all back, just do the reverse. Just swing it back into place. Let, make sure to lift this up. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.